Well, we're here with another episode of Slingshot and uh, today we're bringing to you a very, very uh, new and innovative course called the Human Resource and Admin Postgraduate Diploma uh, from Tata Institute of Social Sciences. Uh, we're here with Source Solution Directors, Mr. Guru Prasad and uh, Mr. Gauri, who are bringing this course from Tata Institute uh, you know, to Goa. So first question to the two of you, very, very important question. There's a lot of, you know, uh, hue and cry about human resources and everybody wants to know what human resources, why human resources, personnel management. Probably in the last five to ten years it has really, really picked up. Why do you think it is that way? See, uh, for any industry, we always look at resources. And generally, when anybody speaks about resources, they only speak about infrastructure. Yes. But we forget that the human employees running it are very important. Correct. Otherwise, it's no use. True. So, human resources, as it says, as we say human resources, it's nothing but employee relations. Mm -hmm. They take care of employees and ensure that, you know, they are ready to take up any challenge in the industry. Correct. Yeah. All right. Why do you think human resources is so important, Mr. Gauri? See, it's for the development of the company itself. Because what happens is, now, previously we used to have different sections. Now they have coupled everything together with, as per the HR ministry thing. Correct. So it helps in developing the employees' stature. And they, you know, it will help the company in improving the relationship with surrounding uh, whatever they are doing. like like say GSL with their other contract partners. Correct. So and then the HR personnel become an expert in all the sections as such. Absolutely. So they can handle everything. Like Correct. previously it was individual like payroll, recruitment, yes. finance was different. Now it's like a one man who can take charge and you know try to take handle care of everything a lot of and then lead the people in the right way. So. All right. So hence it becomes very important to keep the people together. Yeah. Uh, Source Solutions, uh, how did Source Solutions start off and why did Source Solutions start off? Yeah, uh, Source Solution is our baby <laughs> and it started when we decided to bring TIS to Goa. Yes. And uh, when I got to know from TIS, I was, I, I had association, uh, not direct, indirect with TIS and TIS is now associated with HR ministry and under our uh, Prime Minister's skill development program. Yes. They had to go pan India. Yes. Uh, when this came to me, I immediately thought of coming to Goa. And source, we felt that our company should be the source for all this academic excellence. Beautiful. That's why we named it source. <laughs> So solution. That's a nice story to start off with. But uh, I know that Tata Institute of Social Sciences has been this institute that has always commended, uh, you know, a, a number one position when it means to training people. Yeah. And uh, they always were known to be in Mumbai, based out of Mumbai. You had to go there to get your degree. Yeah. And now a move has been made to go Pan India, which I think is really, really commendable. And Goa, I think, is very privileged to have them yes. here. Uh, what is this course or the other courses that Source Solutions brings from TIS to Goa? See, there are, uh, there are many postgraduate diplomas. Apart from that, there are graduation programs, which is BIVOC. As you, as you see, BIVOC is a pro graduation program for many ancillary, uh, I would say, areas like automobile, pharma, hospitality, paramedical, there are many, uh, about 60 plus. Wow. Yeah. You know, we thought that we should have BIVOC in Goa, especially for pharma and hospitality. Since the, I would say, Goa is known for hospitality and pharma industry. Correct. We have a big hub here. Yes. So we thought, why not we bring BIVOC in pharma and hospitality here? Which is a great idea, yeah. great, great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Today, the course that we're talking about in this episode is the Human Resource and Admin Postgraduate yeah. Diploma uh, provided. Please tell us, uh, when was this course introduced in Goa and how was it received? 
Okay, initially we started the first batch in 2016 in Vasco and we found response was very good. We had a lot of inquiries yes. and the crowd of the students coming in because it was something new in Goa at the Absolutely. present moment. Yes. And the students as well were quite well educated and they were, you know, the response and the results at the end of their career. It was one year course. Absolutely. It was really great. And I they were well, so. well, they were welcomed in the industries. With yeah. well, I would like to mention one thing. Knowing topography of Goa, you will be surprised to know that we had students from all the parts of Goa. Wow. 50 kilometers away. They used yes. to travel every Sunday. Wow. Right. And we had even working professionals. Yeah. Yes. And our first batch was a 100% success result. Wow, 100% yes. success is a big one to yeah. manage. Uh, what does this course need for a student to have? Is it a graduate in commerce, BBA? What should the any student graduate. have? Any graduate. Any graduate. Just yeah. Yes. Arts. Any. Any graduate. So any you just graduate. need to be a graduate to go yeah. ahead. Yes. What about the age limit? I would say uh, there is no age limit as such because it's for even working professionals. Yes. So what is the highest age limit that you've had so far? Uh, at the present moment, I, I, if you see, <laughs> you will be surprised. My second batch, I had a retired professional. Pro professional. So we're looking at sixty plus. Yeah. Yes. He joined our Anybody? course. He wanted to utilize the knowledge for his own entrepreneurship. Wow, okay, so we have, uh, you know, a retired person joining. Do they need to have any prior experience in HR? Fine that, you know, they can be graduates. Do they need to have prior experience in no. HR or any other field? No, 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 not necessarily. All right. And what about the fees? What fee structure are we looking at? Uh, actually, the <laughs> postgraduate, it's about 53,000 rupees uh, annual fee. I'm wow, saying. okay, yeah. the entire course is yes. 53,000 yeah, yeah, rupees. Yeah, it's divided into two semesters, so, you know. You yeah, can you pay can pay it in installments, yeah. which is, I think, very great because I know of, uh, you know, courses in Tata Institute, which are very, very expensive and with logistics in Mumbai, it does become very expensive. So 53,000 is yeah. great. And we're looking at only yeah. Sundays classes or Saturday, Sunday classes, only Sundays, only, only Sunday Sundays. classes, which yeah. is even better. What are the fund uh, requirements other than your uh, uh, scholastic? Are there any fun, other fund requirements that a student should have? Nothing. Nothing? Just Nothing. Just 53,000 that even takes care of their examination fees. Wow. It's included. All right. So everything is included. Yeah. I think Tara Institute and Source Solutions really wanted to get to the people and give yes. them this uh, opportunity. Yeah. What, when you say 100% success rate, what do the students after completing? So freshers, let's just say, hmm. freshers come in, they finish their one year. Placements, where, what? Yeah, see, uh, we don't commit placements. Correct. But we facilitate. All right. How we do it is, you see, this course has got 600 hours of on-job training. 600 hours, hours of on-job training. Which is 300 hours per semester. Okay. So what we do is, we place them for on-job training in mm -hmm. good corporates mm -hmm. with the understanding with the corporate HR Mm. That he is, he or she is the next resource for you. Correct. Okay. And they have to track that resource. Mm. And we ensure that even the second semester, mm. the student goes to the same company. Company. So, in 600 hours, the student has learned the culture of the company. Yes. He, he or she has, ex, uh, you know, exhibited their excellence. Correct. Plus strengths. Yes. HR from their end have also observed them. Correct. And if there is a need, immediately they can they recruit absorbed. them or they are always there whenever there is a need. Absolutely. So I think it's a great way of being absorbed into the field yes, yes, because of the internship. Uh, the next question I think comes to my mind is when a student is doing internship and if the student is already working, how does that pan out for them? Can they do an internship where they are working? They, yes. they have to do internship where they are working. Oh, okay. If they're already working. Yes. What is the course duration and when should a student apply? In the sense, month to month, what's the duration of the course and when should a student apply? See, this particular course has an academic year, July to June. Okay. And January to December. We have two. Okay. Options. Yeah. So, generally, we announce this course sometimes around May end. 
mm. after the graduation Perfect. exams and yes. all. Yes. And the admission happened in month of June, and mm -hmm. the course starts in June. Where July. can students uh, do the admission? We can online. So, yeah. on, online uh, as well as online, so they can definitely. Yes. Uh, apart from that, they can always visit our hub and take Go the admission. Go ahead. Yes. Where is the hub located? We have our hub in Vasco. All right. And going forward, we are looking for more hubs Perfect. so that we can cover whole Goa. Okay, that's a nice place yeah, to start. Like at present, we are only in South Goa, like Goa. Vasco. Yes. We cater only to Margaon surrounding areas. We are planning North Goa as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, students and people, professionals from North Goa can, can as well join as in. because traveling sometimes yeah. North Goa feel is too far yes, to, to travel come. to Vasco. Yes. Uh, so, this is to underline to all our viewers that if you want to go ahead and join this course of HR and Admin, uh, you have to remember that they have two courses, one from Jan to December, one from uh, June, uh, July, July to June and you can apply in the month of March, April so you can you know, keep yourselves ready. Especially for students, I think you know, when they start doing their third year, they want to know what's ahead, yes. what are the other things that they can do. Um, Coming to what students can do, why do you think a TY student should go ahead and apply for this course? Let's say, you know, most of the students sometimes in today's day and age don't know where they should be, you know, going. Uh, why do you think they should choose this course? See, after uh, a TY students, either they have to go for an MBA or a diploma. Correct. Right. Now, if you go for an MBA, they should go for MBA from a premium institute so that they get Start. the proper recognition and correct if you compare diploma then this diploma this being a premium student known for it are valued well yes and they, they are recognized yes so I would always say a student uh, doing this diploma has better chance you know the course curriculum is such it is not bookish correct mm -hmm. it is you know framed in such a way that when they pass out it is like they can take up their role the very next day okay it's on the job Doctor. training goes well along Correct. with the they're equipped yeah. to go ahead and be employed yes, yes, you're yes. employable yes, uh, yes, yes. The, after you finish this from course, day one yeah. from can, day yeah. one no yeah. training yeah. involved you, there's no you know probation period as such you know perfect you can start up. that sounds like it we're going to be hearing from the faculty of this uh, program we're going to be hearing from a student who is passed out in flying colors uh, thank you so much and we wish uh, the two of you the very very best thank for all the details for all our viewers for this program the HR and admin program from uh, social solutions and Tata Institute of uh, social sciences please go ahead and uh, you know you can check their website and contact them for further details thank you so much for being here thank you thank we you wish the best Thanks thank you much. we're very thankful for Shubhalakshmi to be here with us uh, Shubhalakshmi how did you come to know about this program uh, well like other students I wasn't interested in studies though so uh, I didn't want to actually continue with this uh, with my studies further I thought that graduation would be the, would be the yeah I think like most students graduation yeah. seems to be it and then uh, it's suddenly that I was really bad in attendance my attendance was really low all three years of my BCom so then I came across like my faculty is told that there is a program like orientation program for students and you're getting a free class class like so yeah, I thought like, like okay fine let's <laughs> just go and get that free attendance and I just came and the orientation was really good like it was so interesting that um, at one shot I was like wow something's good going to happen and yes. then I just uh, consulted with my sisters and my uh, parents about it and then it was okay they were like yeah fine if you feel All like for getting attendance yeah. right isn't that the best, <laughs> best story thing. ever so they were like okay fine Finally, our daughter is doing something good. <laughs> yes, parents so. are being happy. How much effort, uh, you know, after the orientation program, after enrolling, in the entire one year, how much effort do you think you had to put in for this course? See, when we say that, uh, like, if we even if we put efforts, we can make the mountains move. That's true. So uh, the thing happened was, uh, I just gave in my exam to the best, like my final exam, and then uh, I decided that I should get enrolled and. In any which way, I tried to get connected with the faculties, with 
the people like uh, wherein I can you know ask them about what it is and how is the procedures for that and that's it just was started. there an entry-level test for you to join and uh, uh, you know what suggestions would you give students who want to uh, go ahead and join this program to prepare for it? Uh, the first of all uh, it's the best part of this program is the we don't have any entry-level test like that sounds like a fabulous, fabulous thing. thing no entry-level test, test. Okay. it's like uh, normally we've seen in engineering or something like that we have entry-level test and students are like they get disappointed if they don't score that but then you don't have any disappointment here. You just directly have to, it's like a first come first serve. Oh, perfect, all That's right. That's the thing. And the one year course was uh, really fabulous. I, I literally enjoyed everything. The best part of this course was that, uh, you know, I found the bestest of the bestest peer, wherein my uh, mom used to always complain that I had a bad peer. Oh, okay. And this was the only course wherein I had a best like the fabulous peer ever. This course has got to, uh, like it gave me exposure of all kinds of uh, age level. Very from nice. the elders to the youngest. Yeah, because if there's no uh, entry yeah. level exam and it is only a course It's open track. for everyone, one and all. Like so it's all age groups yes. uh, can apply. apply. Is it true that you have to do an internship in this one year diploma course? Yes, uh, we have to do like, you know, first semester internship and then the second semester internship. Where did you do your internship? Well, my first internship, I really missed that actually. It you missed your internship? Yeah, this? it was fabulous internship. I had done it in uh, GSL, that is Goa Shipyard. All right. And I had done it in the CSR department that is connected to the HR only. And it was a, like those two months were very precious for me because the, uh, I got to learn many more things. It's a, it's like a government. It's under, it comes under Ministry of Defense. So, they taught me how to survive. Wow! Because that is some internship. You know, it's training. like, um, like only the government people know. Like only they can teach you how to survive in how the world. Defense because, people, yeah. yes. It's like um, they have given you. They've shouted for me for being stupid. They have also praised for me for being yes. the best. So all your works get critically, uh, you know, looked after. And I think that's the point of an internship, yes. to go ahead and find out where you lack and to find out what you can do better, which is great. And where was your second internship? Well, uh, by the time uh, I thought, like, um, just in the house and this classes are Sundays, and even our faculties encourage that, you know, if you get any job, Pick it up right now. Wow. So I took up a job in Goa Medicare Devices, that's in Verna. It's basically uh, indulge in personal care. Mm -hmm. So I took up a job and I asked our HR that uh, can I have my second internship in, in the same firm. So you were basically employed by the time that you finished, finished your course. course. Yes. That's a good course to join. And, uh, and the best part of this course was they helped me to, you know, learn how to crack interviews. Wow. So okay, the, this was the best part, wherein I cracked interview and I got a job and then I did my internship in there, in their administration department. All right, that's, that's yes. nice. What are the benefits that you can highlight for our viewers about the quality of training and teaching at this? Uh, like for the students, younger students who feel that, you know, teaching with the blackboard is very boring. No, this is not a blackboard teaching. It's like, you know, PPTs and all normally it's not even also PPTs, it's like exercise for your brain. Wow. It's like okay. a brainstorming wherein, you know, we are given some set of like uh, puzzles or, you know, group study. It's not that, you know, like sit, come sit. And study. study you're study, more study, study, active and while you're studying. You're yeah. Any advice you would like to give all of our graduate students who are watching and who want to explore the human resource field? Okay, uh, the thing, uh, normally I know kids will be very bored after their graduation, they'll be like, I don't want to study anymore. But then if they enroll in this course, it's not only studying, it's like learning your life lessons. Wow, okay. Okay, you kind of like uh, explore things more uh, closely. Like uh, when I was in school, I was told that, um, you know, when you'll be in your college or high second, you're going to know what is the world. Then again, that same repeated. But then this course showed me the world. Yes. I How it is, you know, from the time of like you know like the faculties have taught me that there are people who are backbiting you and then there are people who are like you know good on your face and then yeah basically the, the uh, a good black and white idea of yeah. the world 
uh, a good grey idea of the world. world. That today's corporate, and I agree with you. Today's corporate world is very competitive. You need to really be on your toes. You need to watch your words, your actions. Yes. And uh, most uh, of uh, the institutes that are training for actual work tell you, give you a yeah. realistic idea of what the work uh, place looks like. Look, yeah. Uh, also. I like the idea that you could apply, get a job while you were still doing the yeah. course. Uh, what does that mean for you in the future? When you do plan to change, let's say, a job or move into a better perspective, do yes. you think the course that you did one year back will still help you? Uh, definitely, it's going to help. And the thing, best part of it is if, uh, like uh, right now, I'm thinking about my future prospect and they not only teach you about HR, they teach you about your life. Like, you know, okay, if you don't find HR is something good, you can always switch in. Yes. You can go, or you can try your, something of your own, like entrepreneur or something like that. And yes, our faculties are very motivative and they really, like, you know, get into you and then they are like, um, okay, you don't like this. Or even if it is, comes to explanation, I've been always annoying them. Like, I don't understand again and again. So this is the best part when faculties are, down to you. Oh, very It's nice. like instead of being a faculty, they are your best friends. That's very nice. And yes. if she says she was annoying, please don't believe her. She has stopped the class, <laughs> I believe, yes. in that uh, year. So it goes for a long way. Thank you so much for being here with yeah, us. Thank you. And I think we'd like to tell all of our viewers that if you want to do, I think, a hands on course where you get yes. to learn more while you're studying and probably earn while you're learning, I think this is the course to look out for. Thank yes, you so sure. very much. And Welcome, we wish you the very best for your future. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You so much. Well, we're here with a uh, faculty member, Mr. Kenneth Das. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, why do you think this course is important for Goan students? See, what happens in Goa, you know, you have a lot of uh, industries to start with. And uh, again, it's a, it's a hub for tourism where you have a lot of hotels. And uh, there is always a need for uh, uh, HR professionals. Now, if you look at many of the organizations in Goa, you'll find that uh, they sort of, you know, uh, or, or rather uh, in the t a few years gone by, most of the people who would be in the HR field were yes. from other states who wow. had the required qualifications. Yes. There were a lot of Goans who would, you know, take up uh, a job in HR, but they didn't have that professional degree as such, you know. Right. Now, this particular course is designed to make a person a professional in an HR field. Wow. Okay. okay. So they, they learn a lot of things which are beyond just a, a clerical kind of a job. Correct. Okay. So that's and we've been told you have a lot of experience in this field yeah, yourself. Uh, yes. Uh, the reason why uh, I find that, you know, uh, I have uh, a lot of um, exposure in this is because I have been in this HR field for the last 35 odd years. 35 years in yeah, Goa, in, in Goa, HR. In Goa, so you know the HR. vibe of the vibe. HR so in Goa. I work right from the bottom to the top, wow. you know, yeah. So That's nice. I do know a lot about it. So there's a lot which I can share with the others because uh, I can actually, you know, get them to understand uh, the base from the basics to the yes. whatever else is there. What about the syllabus uh, yeah. that is being taught in okay. HR and admin? Now, this syllabus is designed in such a way that in the first semester, if you look at the first semester, you have uh, what is called uh, uh, the recruitment, the selection processes, then things like, you know, what are the uh, statutory requirements which somebody needs to know. But when you actually go into the second syllabus, it's more into the developmental kind of the process, like, you know, your training activities, then your performance management. Okay. It's covered in that. Yeah. So would you say that the students are equipped to hold a position of an assistant uh, HR, uh, you know, to assistant to the HR uh, after finishing this course? After finishing this course, the, the, they will be armed with a qualification which probably can get them into a junior position as far as an HR uh, is concerned. is concerned. But they can yeah. do it because they, they have equi they they've can been equipped it. with yeah. on-job training. Yeah, but it could also help somebody who is already working in HR uh, in the sense that if there is a vacancy and probably if they need somebody who has the required qualification for a post of, say, an, an, an HR executive or an assistant manager in HR, and if the person has sufficient experience in that particular organization, with this qualification, 
the company need not go out and recruit somebody from the outside. You have someone who's already qualified and ready from the inside. Yes. How can someone who's already working do the course? Yeah. Somebody who's already working who is, say, I'll, I'll give you an example. Now, there may be somebody who is working in uh, HR or is working in the accounts department. Now, there when they, when, when they join the course, they may not actually do it thinking that they may want to continue in the same organization. Correct. Okay? So there could be someone like, who is looking for a change, who Perfect. feels that okay, he, with his ex present experience and with this qualification, maybe he's in a position to apply for uh, another uh, yes. for his career. So what I meant happen. is yeah. how do they manage the classes because they're yeah. already working and how do they come for the classes, how do they uh, get the degree? These classes are designed in such a way that they are on the weekend. Oh, okay. okay. So, yeah. So the, and they are basically to cater to all the to most of the working. Uh, all right. Uh, so on a weekend, yeah. would you mean by yeah. a Sunday? Yeah, it could be. Uh, it's a, a Saturday afternoon. Yes. Uh, or a full day Sunday, depending on you know the, the students. Students. That's yeah. very nice. I yeah. think people who are working do find it difficult yeah. to you know uh, study, uh, get that degree that they need, and this I think yeah. will be a good place to start. Which are the other faculties for courses? If you can just mention a few names, what other faculty do you have? No, we have a total of five faculty who are with us. And uh, uh, each one is an expert in their own fields. So there are, like for recruitment and selection, we have a couple of faculties who are you know, well versed in that. Yes. Then there are a couple of us who are in the payroll and compensation, who that is their core expertise. We have a very uh, you know, senior and trained professionals in the, in the training and development. And then you also have people in the office administration like who are well versed so in So everybody yeah. is well equipped. So everyone is well equipped. And each faculty who has been selected, who has been impaneled, are faculty who have got a lot of experience and a lot of expertise in those Their particular, particular subjects which subject. they take. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have a very, very important question. You know, yeah. uh, a lot of courses, especially uh, this course, and a lot of courses that are you know new. This is a three-year-old course. Yeah. How do you think it is beneficial for Go and students? Because you know, you know, we come from a not so competitive kind of a scholastic uh, yeah. academic side. How do you think this course is beneficial for Go and students? See, as I was saying earlier, you no. Know, uh, if you look at many of the Go and uh, or other like students. Uh, students uh, they would stop at the level of graduation. Yes, that's okay. true. Yeah. Now, there are a lot of courses which involve a lot of financial uh, requirements. Like, yes. you know, it's, it's very expensive. This course, to start with, is not a very expensive course. The fees are reasonable. Yes. Okay. Secondly, the as I mentioned earlier, the the course is, the, the timing is uh, it Such. is designed for 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 people who are free on the weekends. Okay, Absolutely. Saturday, Sundays. Okay, so they have that. And secondly, what happens, there's not, uh, if you look at the, the, uh, the, the centers where this, uh, the classes are conducted, they're not too far away from uh, the major cities. Correct. So it's easier for someone to commute and to stay over there. Yes, okay? yes. So taking all this into consideration, this is an opportunity for many of the Goan students to le learn a course, to get themselves qualified and get into something where you have jobs also available related to that. Absolutely. Okay, when yes. you, I'm talking about hospitality, I'm talking about pharma, I'm talking about all the other manufacturing. Yes. A lot of industrial estates uh, come up in Goa. Absolutely. They need people. Yes. And more, of, and more than anything else, you have uh, the, the, the labor, the manpower is basically from Goa. Yes. So when you have someone from HR who is also from Goa, the relationship and you know the way you can you know, the, the development of this human resource is much easier than when you get someone from outside. That is very it makes insightful. A lot of, yeah, that is very very insightful. It makes a lot of difference. It does. It does yeah. Thank you so very much for being yeah. here, Mr. Kenneth. And for all of you watching, please uh, get this in mind that this is a course that you can do while you're working. It is a course that can uh, that you can do if you're even concerned about the financial aspect of it. And it is also a course that you can do to get that next promotion. Thank you so very yeah. much for being here with us, and we wish you the very very best. Thank you so much. Thank Jessica. you. Yeah.